Hey guys, what's going on? Coming at you with the Tuesday morning video. I make videos every day at 9 a.m. If you guys appreciate these videos, make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. I'm trying to get to 600 subs by the end of this month, so I think I'm uh, almost, uh, I'm over a quarter way there. So if you guys hit the subscribe button, it's much appreciated. It makes me want to keep making this content. So today I want to talk about Coinbase. Ticker is C-O-I-N. This is a stock I actually bought when it IPO'd. You know, I missed the DoorDash and Airbnb IPO. I thought they were gonna, you know, correct or go down because they were a little overvalued, probably the exact opposite. So I kind of got FOMO when Coinbase IPO'd. I do believe in the business model. I do like the management team there. Uh, I do believe in crypto and, you know, all that stuff for long term. So I found out this was a way basically to hedge it because I didn't know Ethereum, Litecoin, you know, Bitcoin, whatever. I didn't know what was going to be the the best crypto, and I don't really want to dive into that too heavy right now. So I figured I might as well get a company that is the biggest in the world right now that is basically a broker. So that's Coinbase. So got real excited, IPO'd, shot up to over four hundred dollars in the first like four hours of trading. So of course, you know, I bought right in almost when it opened, and uh, my cost base, I believe, when I started my position was like three forty five. So I thought I was doing great the first day. Obviously, I'm a long-term investor, so you know I was super happy. And then the following weeks, you know, it just went down, then down, then down, and it went all the way down to basically 225. And it sat there for like weeks. It was fluctuating between 225 and like 250. So I felt like you know kind of crappy that I didn't like this. Is why I don't buy IPOs. Whatever, I didn't sell because I'm a long-term investor. I do believe in the business model. And I actually thought it was a decent evaluation even at like 400. So I actually thought I got a really good deal and I still think I did. So today was the first real, since it's IPO, the real, you know, the biggest gain it's had in a single day. It had an 8.42% move yesterday. So that's really good for this company. There's a lot of uh, excitement around crypto right now. Obviously with the, you know, there's been a lot of, turmoil with with crypto in general with china the mining you know elon musk saying he's not gonna accept it anymore temporarily till it's clean cleanly mined just a lot of negative stuff with crypto so that really hurt coinbase for the short term so you know it rallied back to 280 which is like the highest it's been in, in weeks so i did not buy today uh just because my position is kind of where i want it to be right now it's it's like a top it's probably like my 11th biggest position of my 17. So I really want to keep it over a top 10. So I don't want to make it too big right now, just because this is a super long-term play. Obviously a lot can happen with crypto. Like right now, I don't feel like I need to buy heavy because I'm going to miss the boat and something. Like I really don't feel that way. I, it's going to be super volatile. Um, there's still a lot to learn with crypto in general. So I feel like there's no need to rush it right now is what I'm getting at. However, 280, I mean, obviously it's a way better position to mine because I'm sitting currently at a 315. So I drove it down from 345 to 315. I was buying at 230 and 240 when it hit those lows when it first got there. And then I kind of built my position out to where, again, I don't want to really buy anymore. So I drove it down to 315. Obviously right now it's a 280. So if you were to start a position right now, like 280 is a great time. Like, I mean, it could go up to 400 again before we know it, or it could go back down to 200. So, but buying here, if you really believe in it long term, I, you know, I really do like the stock at 280. Why I think this is happening, obviously the CPI data is coming out, and I think a lot of people are hedging inflation. I think inflation is going to be worse than what people, than, than what the Fed is saying it's going to be. Uh, I do believe it's still trans, uh, transitory inflation, but you know, I think the inflation data is going to be higher than what they projected and it's going to scare a lot of people out of the market. And I think a lot of people are trying to find ways to hedge uh, the inflation. So obviously when you hedge, it's, it, you know, they're going to move into the crypto, which is going to be, you know, obviously be a lot of trading in Coinbase and stuff like that. So I feel like people are running out of the market to hedge inflation, basically. So that's why I'm guessing it's happening now, because the, the, the July data comes out this week. So that's my guess. I really didn't see any huge news on Coinbase, but all crypto ran yesterday. So, you know, that's, you know, that's fine. I mean, I'm in this stock and, and you know, I like it for the long term. I, you know, they linked up with Visa. Visa's obviously a, a credit card monster. So, you know, they have a great business model. They have a great CEO, uh, super profitable because they charge transaction fees on every transfer. So they're like, 
you know, it's gonna be ridiculous. So this company long-term, as long as they execute right, they're gonna be a monster. Where do I love this stock? Obviously like 200 to 225, I think 200 would be like the lowest it will ever go unless like crypto totally goes away, which I don't think is gonna happen. So that is like the money buy. If it does go back down to 225, I probably will buy a little bit more. If it doesn't, I'm fine with where I'm at right now. Where I would still buy, I think 300 to 350 is good, but this all depends on what the market's doing, how Coinbase's earnings is, what crypto is doing. So I would still buy in this area if it made sense. Obviously my cost base right now is 315, you're at 280, so I'm not buying, but if I were to start a position now, definitely buy now. If it goes down to this mark, I would buy more. Where I would hold, I mean, right now with crypto, really around 400 is probably be the max, like where I wouldn't buy anymore right now, unless you get more information or see more earnings or they start killing it or partner up with people and you really start seeing some steam rolling. So that's kind of where I hold. But um, yeah, so that's kind of, you know, Coinbase was my biggest mover yesterday. Uh, it's super exciting as I was in it. I know I had a couple other really big movers. Let me just check this out real quick. So Beyond Meat had a 5.2% move that's up. It's nice. Uh, what else had a big move? Uh, I don't talk about this one much, but I do own Palantir. Uh, it had a 6.24% move. I could make a video on that but uh, why I'm so bullish on that. But yeah, it had a 6.42% move today. Space had a 5.63, it's a nice move for space. And TTCF had a little bit of a move, a 3.55. That's my second biggest position. Earnings comes out Thursday, so that's gonna be a really exciting day. I might not be able to make a video Friday on it, I might be away, but I will uh, try to find some time over the weekend or maybe Friday, depending on you know, how the earnings are. I do think they're gonna do a double beat. So I think they're gonna beat EPS and I think they're gonna beat revenue. That's just my opinion. So that's a whole other video though. So uh, yeah, so that's all I got till tomorrow. Again, guys, make sure you like, subscribe if you like this video and until tomorrow, peace.